Hey, I'm David Levin, and welcome to another Pop Goes the Culture, the behind-the-scenes anecdotes of your favorite shows from the people who were there. But first, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell so you can be notified whenever we post a new episode. Today, part three of my conversation with the immortal Ernest Borgnine. We'll talk about From Here to Eternity and his Oscar-winning role, Marty, which changed, changed him from a supporting villain to a star. Ernest talks about his audition for that sensitive part while he was dressed as a fearsome Mexican villain in the film Bad Day at Black Rock. And the secret of that movie that Borgnine has never revealed until this interview. Plus, Borgnine tells how he felt about Rod Steiger, who played Marty in the original TV drama, and how Steiger felt about him. Here's Ernest Borgnine. I just watched uh, From Here to Eternity last night. <laughs> Boy, oh boy, you were a son of a bitch in that <laughs> Well, I'll tell you. When I went, uh, when I left New York to come to uh, uh, Hollywood to make that film, I said, I've got to be the worst man that ever walked in two shoes. Because if I can be that kind of a character, and I said, I will have accomplished something. Well, accomplished is right. I remember one time I was down on Ventura Boulevard, and I had a hot pizza alongside of me. I'd gone down to get a hot pizza. And I made a big turn on, on a U-turn on, uh, on Ventura Boulevard, and, oh, you know, I got a hot pizza here. <laughs> well, the cop came over, and I showed him my card, you know, and, my, and he looked at it, and he looked at me, and he looked at the card, and he said, hey, Joe, guess what? I caught the son of a bitch killed Frank Sinatra and gave me a ticket. <laughs> That's how bad. <laughs> I knew then that I'd accomplished something. <laughs> That's really funny. <laughs> to be the bad guy, not this time. Oh, golly. <laughs> I, here's a movie I want to ask you about. I'm sure you've been asked about it once or twice before. I'm sorry. Marty. Oh, Marty. Tell me about Marty, and the question I have, because Marty started out as a TV show and became a movie. Would you sort of tell me how you became involved with Marty? Yes, I was down in, uh, in uh, Mexico uh, making a picture called Vera Cruz with uh, Burt Lancaster and Gary Cooper and a whole mess of us down there. And my old director from television came down there, Delbert Mann, to gather some, because he'd always been used to indoors, you know, and working in a different room or something, and to get the idea of, you know, working outside. <coughs> Pardon me. And while he was down there, Bob Aldrich, the director of uh, Vera Cruz, the picture I was working on, said, may I read the script? I said, sure. So he read Marty. And a couple of weeks later at a party, they asked him, you know, uh, who do you think in your mind could play that part. Do you know of anybody? He said, yeah. He said, I know somebody. And I said, well, who? He said, Ernie Borgnine. Ernie Borgnine? Are you kidding? He's a killer. He loves to kill people. He's killed them with pitchforks, with knives, with this, with that. No, 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 don't, don't kid yourself. You know, he's, a, he's an actor, he, you know. Because, you know, you get, you get cast in these different things, and the first thing you know people say he's a killer period so they called me up and they said uh, listen we got a picture we want you to be in I said fine I'll play any part you want I said no no you don't understand we want you to star in this film and I said do you do you believe in me do you have faith in me and the fellow said of course I do I, otherwise I wouldn't ask you I said that's all I want to know I'll give you 120%. Okay, he said, uh, uh, Patty Chayefsky and Delbert Mann have to fly up to where you're making a, your next picture. And I was making then a picture with uh, Spencer Tracy called Bad Day at Black Rock. Bad guy. And so they flew up. And, <laughs> and the very first thing, you know, I, I walked into this room and uh, there was Patty sitting on a chair and Delbert Mann stretched across my bed, and uh, they, they looked at me, and there I was with a three-day growth of beard, a cowboy hat on, and things like that. And Patty, you could see his eyes, 
and and you could read it. He said, "This is Marty." <laughs> it's crazy. Well, I I made my excuses, you know, washed my hands and face and everything else, and I said, "Okay, let's get started." And they said, "Well, well you know." Um, uh, we, we, uh, I, I worked with you before, said Delbert Mann, and I said, I know you're a fine actor and everything else, but, and he got to the word but, and I said, listen, let me tell you, if you feel that uh, I'm not right for the part, I said, I'll help you find somebody, because it, as far as I'm concerned, I said, uh, it's a great script, and I'd love to do it, and if I can't, I'll find somebody to do it for you, because I, I think it's wonderful. Well, they looked at each other, and I said, okay, go ahead. Well, I forgot the first six lessons in acting, you know, about how to become the character and everything else. And I started out with a Western twang, <laughs> playing Marty with a Western twang. <laughs> well, sir, <laughs> uh, Patty just, you know, went uh, crazy. He said, what are you talking about? No, 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 this is crazy. No, 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 just a minute, just a minute. I went and threw my hat off and kicked off my boots and, and everything else and rolled up the shirt. All right, let's go. Well, we got to that part where uh, my, he was reading the other, all the other roles and I was reading uh, my, my role. And we got to the part where my mother says, why don't you put on a blue suit and go down to that you know, dance hall? And they got a lot of tomatoes there. I said, Mom, don't you understand? I'm just an ugly, ugly man. And as I said that, I turned away and I, I was crying. And I came back and I had tears coming down my face and I saw him, he had tears coming down his face. I glanced at Delbert and he is crying and I said inwardly, I got it, I got it, you know? And we went on and finished it. And they patted me on the back and said, okay kid, it's yours. Well, I went back the next morning and Spencer Tracy who had stopped me, you know, when he knew I was leaving the set early. He said, well, how'd you make out? I said, I got it, sir. I got it. Great. You're fine. You Don't worry. You'll be wonderful. The next year, I beat him out for an Academy Award. The great Spencer Tracy, along with James Dean, Frank Sinatra, man with a golden arm, and James Cagney in Love Me or Leave Me. Quite a bunch. I never expected to win, but it was a wonderful little picture. And everybody took it to heart. And there it was. And then to top it all off, I found out that they had actually made the film to lose money. <laughs> Would you believe it? They made it for a tax loss. <laughs> I only got $5,000 for the part, but it was, I would have done it for nothing. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it was quite a, quite a picture. Years later, when uh, Robert Redford did the movie about the um, quiz scandals. About the what? The quiz scandal, uh -huh. the 50s quiz scandal. Yes. They, that was the question that they were going to throw. Yes, that's right. Do you remember that? Could you? Yes, I didn't see the film, didn't see that show. But um, I know that they said, uh, who, who, what, was this, what was the picture? Uh, I'm trying to remember the name of it, but John Turturro played the part of the contestant on $64,000 question. And yeah, he said, yeah. He said, okay, the question you're going to get wrong is, you know, what movie won best picture? Yeah. What was it, 55? That's what right, 55. 55. And he goes... You can't make that. I know that one. <laughs> yeah. They've been feeding him the answers to everything. Sure, He's sure. Like, oh, but, the, but I really do know that. <laughs> <laughs> favorite movie because he was like a guy from... Sure, Korea. sure. Like, like, um, had you been aware of the... Um, of the Rod, Rod Steiger version of the, of the show? Had you seen of the which? Rod Steiger. When he played yes, when he... Uh, they asked me if I wanted to see his performance on TV. And I said, no, I'd rather not. And he said, well, you know, you can, I said, I'm sorry, but I'd like to give my own performance. I don't want to give uh, something that I've seen somebody else do, you know. And um, uh, no, I didn't see it at all. But I did see it later after I'd, uh, I'd won. And he was a little peeved 
when he found out that, uh, that I had won the Academy Award. But I was a little peeved at him before I won the award because of the fact that he had taken away a part that I wanted very badly. And that was Judd in Oklahoma. I wanted to play Judd so bad it hurt. But the good Lord says, no, you won't play this. You'll play Marty. So I played Marty, and he lost out on the Academy Award. He got it later, but uh, uh, you know how things, funny how things work out. Just the way they're supposed it's amazing, to Amazing, isn't it? That's it for today. Next time, Ernest Borgnine talks about shooting Mikhail's Navy on the Universal Studios lot, revealing the special effects stories and secrets. Why the studio made a Mikhail's Navy movie without Mikhail. And Borgnine talks about his other series, Airwolf and Single Guy, revealing how on that show they would make up their own lines. No kidding. Till then, drop us your comment. What was your favorite Ernest Borgnine role or movie? We'll see you next time.